Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve the packet tracer activity, implement a third channel. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any networking project or CCNA online classes, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, now back to our activity. Here we can see the objectives. In part 1, build the network. In part 2, configure a third channel. We will go through the background. You have been assigned the task of designing a third channel implementation for a company that wants to improve the performance of their switch trunk links. You will try several different ways of implementing the third channel links in order to evaluate which is the best for the company. You will build the topology, configure trunk ports, and implement LACP and PAGP other channels. We will go to the instructions. In part 1, build the network. Use the table below to build the switch topology. Step 1, obtain the devices that are required. Click the network devices icon in the bottom toolbar. Then click the switches entry in the submenu. Locate the 2960 switch icon. Click and drag the icon for the 2960 switch into the topology area. Also, they specify the number of uh, switches required for this activity. Repeat the step above so that there are three 2960 series switches in the topology area. Then we have to arrange the devices into a layout that you can work with by clicking and dragging. Okay, here we can see uh, network devices. So we'll choose the network devices and we'll go to uh, switches. And here we have. 2960 series switch. We will press Ctrl from keyboard and click on this switch so that we can add multiple devices. Then press Escape. Next, we will go to step 2 name the devices. The devices have default names that you will need to change. So, here we can see uh, we have to change these default switch names. Uh, you will name the devices SWA, SWB, and SWC. You are changing the display names of the devices. This is the text label that appears below each device. It is not the host name. Yes. Your display names must match the name that are given in this step exactly. If a display name does not match, you will not be scored for your device configuration. Yes, so uh, we have to keep in mind we are not going to set the host name. This is only the display names for these uh, devices, uh, and uh, this is available only in this uh, packet tracer. And uh, we have to give these uh, correct names what they specified, and it's only for scoring purpose. Okay, we will click on this uh, switch and we'll give SWA. Okay, right, then we'll go to this uh, switch. You will give SWB. And this is SWC. Click the device a display name that is below the device icon. A text field should appear with a flashing insertion point. If the configuration window for the device appears, Close it and try again by clicking a little further away from the device icon. Yeah, anyways, we done, uh, we labeled these uh, switches. So make sure that you are going to click on exactly on this uh, text so that you can edit it. Yeah, don't click on this uh, switch so that you will get this uh, configuration window. Uh, so exactly you have to click. Right. And yes, we know all these uh, basic uh, uh, settings with the packet tracer, right? Now replace the current display name with appropriate display name. Yeah, we given SWA, SWB, and SWC. Repeat until all devices are named. Yeah, it's done. So now we will go to step three. 
connect the devices. Click the orange lightning bolt connections icon in the bottom uh, toolbar. Locate the Ethernet straight through cable icon. It looks like a solid black diagonal line. Okay, coming to our uh, packet tracer, here we can uh, see that lightning bolt. So it's called connections. Okay, click on connections and here we can see copper straight through. So we'll click on this copper straight through. Okay, now to connect the device, click the Ethernet straight through cable icon and then click the first device that you want to connect. Select the correct port and then click the second device. Select the correct port and the device will be connected. Connect the devices as specified in the table below. Uh, here we can see uh, devices SWA to SWB. Uh, we have to connect to G0 slash 1 to G0 slash 1 and G0 slash 2 to G0 slash 2. Okay, here, uh, here we can see that symbol when we click on this uh, uh, cable. So instead, uh, here, uh, just I am going to press escape. Okay, then we are going to press control from keyboard so that we can do multiple connectivity. So just press control, then click on this copper straight through. Then uh, as specified here, uh, from SWA to SWB, click on SWA, we'll connect to G0 slash 1, then on SWB, G0 slash 1. Also we have to connect uh, G0 slash 2 to G0 slash 2, redundant connections, right? So G0 slash 2 to SWB, G0 slash 2. Next is from SWA to SWC and we can see the port uh, FA0 slash 21 to FA0 slash 21 and FA0 slash 22 to FA0 slash 22. Okay, click on SWA. You will connect to FA0 slash 21 and here we can see that. Then on SWC, FA0 slash 21. Again from SWA, FA0 slash 22. SWC FA0 slash 22. That means the first third 0 slash 22. Then here we can see from SWB to SWC. We have to connect to FA0 slash 23 to FA0 slash 23. Then FA0 slash 24 to FA0 slash 24. So we'll go to SWB, click on SWB, then FA0 slash 23. SWC FA0 slash 23 then again from SWB FA0 slash 24 to SWC FA0 slash 24 now we connected uh, our devices uh, now we can press escape okay coming to part 2 configure a third channel on each switch, configure the ports that will be used in the port channels as static trunk ports. Okay, before coming to this uh, uh, third channel configuration, here we can see this uh, completion status uh, shows a 12% uh, once we connect these uh, devices. Okay, now uh, in step 1, configure a PAGP ether channel. Follow the procedure that was used in previous activities to configure port channel 1 as a PAGP, a third channel between SWA and SWB. Both sides should negotiate the third channel. Okay, we will configure this uh, PAGP, a third channel. And coming to uh, this uh, table, we can see uh, devices SWA to SWB uh, type is uh, PAGP and we can see port connected. Also, we can see port channel 1. So, we can do this configuration. First of all, we will go to SWA switch. Click on SWA. We will go to CLI. And we will go to uh, these uh, ports that is G0 slash 1 and G0 slash 2. So, we enable configure terminal. We given in short conf T. Then we will go to those interfaces as a range. That is a G0 slash 1 dash 2. That means both interfaces G0 slash 1 and G0 slash 2. And here we are going to give a switch port mode as a trunk. So just I will expand this window. 
okay then press enter right now we will shut down these ports then we will create the channel group it's one and we will give the mode we can put a question mark and we can see a different modes here yeah space then question mark so that we can see all the modes oh, here we have to give a desirable so enable PAGP and conditionally okay we will give a desirable here okay then press enter and here we can see the message creating a port channel interface port channel 1 then we will give a no shutdown command then we will exit then we can go to that interface that is uh, port channel here we can see just a press tab button uh, port dash channel it's a uh, one okay then press enter and we can give a switch port modus trunk now we will go to swb and we will configure pagp ether channel uh, for this port g0 slash 1 and g0 slash 2 coming to swb enter enable conf t you will go to interface as a range g0 slash 1 and 2 so g0 slash 1 dash 2 then press enter then we will give switch port mode as a trunk then we will shut down these ports then we will create channel group it's one mode desirable and here we can see creating a port channel interface port channel one okay then press enter now we will give a no shutdown command we will exit then we will go to interface port channel one and we will give a switch port modus trunk okay just we will go to this SWA and we can see uh, uh, they are in number and after some time we can see uh, this uh, link become a uh, green okay so just we'll go to SWA just we'll end and we'll give the command show uh, we'll give a, a third channel right a third channel summary and we can see the details it's here here we can see group one port channel is uh, port channel one and we can we can see it's su protocol we used the pagp and we can see the ports uh, in use g0 slash one and g0 slash two and the flag is p uh, p means here we can see it's in port channel it's working right also we can verify show interfaces trunk and here we can see that port channel 1 mode is on encapsulation okay then the status trunking and it's in a native VLAN 1 now we will go to step 2 configure LACP a third channel configure port channel 2 as an LACP channel between SWA and SWC both sides should negotiate the third channel here we are going to configure from SWA to SWC and uh, the type is LACP and here we can see uh, port channel 2 and uh, we can see the port connections FA0 slash 21 and FA0 slash 22 so first of all we will go to SWA conf t then we will go to those interfaces as a range that is fa0 slash 21 and 22 okay then press enter now we will give a switch port mode as a trunk then we will shut down these ports even we can do without shutting down but it's better to shut down and do it 
channel group to mode we will put a question mark after mode space then question mark and here we can see we will give this active command enable LACP unconditionally so we will give active okay then press enter and we can see creating a port channel interface port channel 2 now we will give no shutdown command then exit then we will go to the support channel uh, interface port channel it's a 2 right and we have to give a switch port mode as a trunk next we will go to swc and we will configure lacp ether channel uh, for ports fs0 slash 21 and 22 which is connecting to SWA right enable confd we'll go to interface as a range FA0 slash 21 dash 22 okay then we will give a switch port mode as a trunk we will shut down these ports then we will create channel group it's a two mode we will give us active that means LACP okay so creating a port channel interface port channel 2 we will give an shutdown down command then we will exit then go to that interface that is a port channel 2 then we will give a switch port mode as a trunk now we can verify the configuration we will go to SWA CLI and here we can give the show command show ether channel summary we will give end then give a show ether channel summary and we can see the details group 2 we created port channel 2 protocol you can see LACP and we can see the ports we used FA0 slash 21 and FA0 slash 22 and also we can verify a show interfaces a trunk command and we can see uh, now uh, both port channel that is port channel 1 and port channel 2 are uh, trunking also we will verify in this uh, switch SWC end show a third channel summary okay and here we can see group 2 port channel 2 and the protocol is LACP and we can see the ports FA0 slash 21 and FA0 slash 22 is bundled together to form this LACP also we can give the command show interfaces trunk and we can see the support channel 2 uh, is uh, trunking coming to the final step step 3 configure a backup LACP ether channel configure port channel 3 channel as an LACP channel between SWB and SWC in this case SWC initiates negotiation with SWB SWB does not initiate a negotiation of that channel okay we will configure on SWB and SWC and coming to this uh, table here we can see port channel 3 uh, for the devices SWB and SWC and we can see port connections FS0 slash 23 and FS0 slash 24 here also we have to use this uh, type LACP here once more we will see the instruction see SWC initiates a negotiation with SWB and SWB does not initiate negotiation of the channel so just we'll go to SWC and we will configure first we'll go to SWC even we can do in SWB so first of all we will go to SWC SWC okay enable conf t 
we'll expand this window and we'll go to interface as a range that is a phase 0 slash 23 dash 24 you will give a switch port mode as a trunk then we will shut down then we will create the channel group it's three right then mode we will give us active so we can see active after mode space active so it's enable LACP unconditionally okay so we can give that active so port channel 3 is created now we will give no shutdown command just we exit and go to that interface that is uh, port channel 3 then we will give a switch port mode as a trunk give end then we will give the show command show a third channel summary and here we can see group 3 port channel 3 protocol is LACP and the ports we used also we will verify show uh, interfaces uh, trunk and here we can see only port channel 2 because we have to configure the other side also now we will configure in this uh, switch SWB and here we can see SWB does not initiate a negotiation of the channel okay so this will go to SWB enable configure terminal we will go to those interface as a range that is FA0 slash 23 and 24 then we will give a switch port mode as a trunk then we will shut down all these ports then we will create the channel group that is 3 then we will give the mode here we will put a question mark and here we can see enable LACP only if a LACP device is detected so we will give this a passive command here passive then we will give no shutdown command then we will exit we will go to that interface even in order to give that anyways uh, we will give interface its uh, port channel 3 then we will give a switch port mode as a trunk okay now we will end and we will give the show command show a third channel summary and here we can see uh, group 3 port channel 3 created protocol is LACP and the ports we bundled now we can verify show uh, interface as a trunk here we can see port channel 3 is a trunking now even we can verify in SWC also show interfaces a trunk and we can see this uh, port channel 3 is a trunking PO3 mode is on encapsulation status trunking okay now we can see our completion status of this activity it's 100 percent so dear friends in this uh, video uh, we solved this uh, packet tracer activity implement a third channel now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this activity please comment below and if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends and also if you like to contact our team for any technical support you can visit our website link you will get from the description below stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you